right, this is the post-game press conference at the conclusion of the Salisbury Super Regional. Uh, we have uh, representatives of the winning team from Salisbury, head coach Troy Brohan, and then left to right, outfielder Cam Hyder, first baseman Sky Rahill, early pitcher Brock Hillegas. So, uh, Coach Brohan, if you have an opening statement for us. A uh, hell of a game. Um, it wasn't really how we scripted it. Um, you know, we just came from the regional in Denison, and then we went four and five games, and those games were, I think, four to two, three to one. Um, you know, I expected our, our pitching staff to perform a lot better um, than what it did, um, but we got the outs at the end that we needed, um, and, and our offense really um, picked up the pitching today. So it was, a, it was a gritty performance, you know, being up, what, seven, eight runs early um, to go down two and I think, the sixth or the seventh. Um, it just shows a lot of resiliency from uh, these guys and um, the, the rest of the team to uh, make a stand there and then still have confidence in one another and uh, score a few runs to tie it up and then score a couple to take the lead. Uh, you mentioned it, uh, the Denison clincher was a pitcher's duel. This one, the exact opposite. What does it say about your team that you can win in uh, both ways on the spectrum of Purest versus well, I mean, coming into this regional, if, if one thing that, that I thought I knew about Wooster was that they swing the bats. Um, and, you know, I, I've said this to our guys. I've said it to uh, the athletic director. I've said it to our coaches that our ballpark plays to teams like that. Um, so when they come in here and they see the 350 gaps, um, you know, if I'm a hitter, I'm licking my chops. <clears throat> you know, we come from Denison where the gaps were 385, and, and that suited us more than playing here today. So, um, again, just the resiliency of the team, um, coming together there, uh, staying together when things got tough, uh, very proud of them. And now uh, another trip to Cedar Rapids awaits a chance to uh, perhaps repeat as national champions. Uh, we're going back to the uh, Division Three Championship for just the second time, like back-to-back -back in program history. Your initial thoughts uh, coming up on going back to Iowa? Well, I mean, we've talked about all year that, uh, you know, we're, we're not defending anything. Nobody can take that away from us from last year. 2021 National Champions, all three of these guys are that. There ain't anybody that's going to take that away from us. Um, what we've had to preach all season is just trying to find that, that hunger, that commitment, that edge that we had playing going in there um, to try to chase another one. Um, so we've talked about chasing it uh, all season long. Um, but, you know, we, we got a, a chip and a chair at the table. And, uh, you know, hopefully we get out there and, and, and we play our brand of baseball and uh, have some success. All right. Uh, Cam, you had what ended up going in as the game-winning home run, the two-run shot in the top of the eighth. What were you looking for in that uh, at bat and what you ended up getting and what did you know it was gone? <laughs> um, all game, I wasn't really squaring balls up. I uh, wasn't hitting balls well. Um, I was swinging at balls up in the strike zone. So I was kind of looking for a ball down the zone that um, belt high down the zone that I could hit really hard, and I got a fastball in that area, and I put a good swing on it. Um, you can say it. you knew it was gone when you hit it. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I, <laughs> yeah, I. That was one of the only balls that I that I've hit that. <laughs> it was I felt, a no doubt. I felt like I knew it was gone. Um, no, but yeah, it was just it was my turn to step up, and um, I mean, if you notice, there's there's different guys in here doing interviews every game, so it's uh, there's there's someone else stepping up every game. You sure pick opportune times to hit home runs. You have two in your career. <laughs> one was in the Cortland game earlier this year in the middle of a ninth inning rally, and one was today. I mean, sometimes you just <laughs> run into them, but sometimes, you know, just lightning strikes twice. Yep. Uh, yeah, I mean, it's just staying focused throughout the whole game. I think that's uh, something that we're very good with here with, uh, at Salisbury, is staying focused throughout the entire game. Uh, Sky, you were saying uh, before that third game, I believe that you were hitting the ball hard both games of the Supers, just weren't getting the hits. Well, you hit the ball hard in this one, got a couple home runs out of it. How did it feel to see him falling in and, well, going where nobody could get him? Yeah, it felt awesome. Uh, to hit a home run in a Super Regional at the last game that I'll play at the, the Donnie Williams Field is an awesome feeling. And now we're going back to your favorite city. Uh, what are you look, <laughs> looking forward to about Cedar Rapids? Uh, the competition. I love, I mean, it's a real awesome environment in Cedar Rapids to be there with your team, hanging out, just being part of that brotherhood for however long we get to be there. And um, it's really something special to be a Salisbury baseball player and 
be on a road trip with 35 people playing mafia on the bus and uh, competing every day for a national, another national championship. Uh, Barack, you had the final two innings uh, scoreless against a really, really high-powered offense, and your bottom of the eighth was the turned out to be the only one, two, three inning of the entire third game. Uh, how big it was it for you and you think your team getting that rare shutdown after taking the lead for what turned out to be the last time? Uh, I just knew that if I could get out there and compete and hold them to maybe one runner on base or no runners on base, then our offense, offense was obviously just going to come through. I mean, they slugged it all day. It was a slugging battle. Now, you and several of your teammates' uh, pitchers have pitched two, three times a week, a weekend over the past couple of weeks of playoff start. Uh, can you speak to your conditioning and to what allows you to go out and pitch twice a day or even three games of an entire Super Regional or Regional? Well, we have Mary. Mary keeps us all healthy, and if you go sit here and do what you're supposed to, then you'll be healthy. Yeah. Mars like a noodle anyway. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'll uh, let's open the floor for questions. Anybody? Okay. I'll. What have, have you learned anything from this last game and this series this weekend that you kind of didn't know and that you'll use moving forward? I don't think it's anything we didn't know. I just don't think we, we haven't been behind too often um, over the past probably month and a half or so of the season. Um, you know, and, and to be able in, in – this environment, um, under those conditions, um, having every all the situations that happened prior, um, to have these guys stay locked in, refocus, um, and then you know kind of pass the baton to each other, um, it just shows them that that they're always in it. They're always in it. We talked last year about the sense of calmness they have uh, around each other, whether you're up five, down five, whatever it is, and uh, it's starting to show a little bit more with this team as we move forward. Uh, tips for staying up late at night in Cedar Rapids, Iowa. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what bracket we're in. I know last year we played a, a boatload of games really late to the early morning, so we'll see how it goes this year. All right. Thanks, everybody. Congratulations. Thank you. Good luck in Iowa. Thank you. Thank you.